again from Fixwing PC and this is part two the long overdue part two to the uh, IPC CCTV tester HD7 I uh, did this a while back and yeah I'm here to follow up on the camera test remember we just did the initial we went in and we did some settings and, and all of that so we're coming back now to test it out with a couple of cameras this one is the IP camera let's put this down so we'll be testing it with this IP camera it's one of these cheap generic cameras so this one is IP based there's a power supply needed and Ethernet now as I mentioned before probably in the previous video this gives you power out you have an outlet for power here so you could charge 12 volt supply 12 volt power to a camera directly and there's an ethernet port here as well so let's prepare this to do just that so we have to press settings and then right here where you see 12 volt output you enable that well, let me just get that right so once we enable that we go back to the home screen so we have the, as i said we have the ip and then we have an analog setup here all right for some reason i have tried this with hd uh systems and it does not seem to work so maybe this is just uh analog and ipc tester there's no hd testing for this analog high definition uh, I have an analog high definition camera, but um, maybe I could break that out and give it a test. I'm not too sure it'll work, but we'll see as we go along. So let's get to it. So for the IP camera test, we're going to need a couple cables. We're going to need an Ethernet patch cable. I'm using the one that it came with. All right, so first we plug it into here. Plug it into the Ethernet port, and then we'll plug it into the Ethernet port on the camera. So we have one connection made. Then we'll use the power supply that came with the IPC HD7 tester, and we'll plug in to the output here, and then we'll plug in to the camera's output here. As you can see we have lights and we have activity so we should be getting a, a visual pretty soon I'll set that to just look somewhere over there in that general direction so yeah so now for the IP cameras as I showed you before before we demonstrated we have to go to the on player right? and there you will see IPC search now this camera does not have a password by default so you will have to either set the IP first if you know the IP address of the camera set your IP you know change the IP address to match the same network as the camera not the exact same IP address as the camera if there's a password on the camera it will be a good time to input that and seeing as you're directly connected there's no need to activate HD or Wi-Fi so you do the IPC search and it should come up now you see it says no network connection all right let's wait a while let's try it again and there you go you get an ip address of 192.168.110 and it gives you the model name manufacturer right and then if you want to take a look at what it's seeing you just hit here and there we get rtsp image and now we can see so this is how we use this monitor. I've used it in the field already. I just I'm demonstrating it to you here that um, you can use this so you can directly patch into a camera that's already up on the wall or in the ceiling once you have access to the, uh, the Ethernet uh, section. And if it's just like it only has like a patch cable connection and, and, and not an additional power, um, power receptacle, like, you know, the input, then you can use one of the splitters that um, you can get with these and basically uh, join 
power you know to the end and then run it there so you see it works so we get to see the vision you can angle the camera and see what's what you know president obama again so yeah no, I should say former President Obama. My bad. Yeah. So, so we can see it works with the IP camera. All right. So, quite simple, right? So now let us go over. Let me disconnect this. I'll disconnect just the Ethernet cable because I have to use a different connection for the analog. So I'm taking off the Ethernet from this. I'll just leave the Ethernet connected to the camera for now. And now we have to use a different connection for the analog. Now this is this also came with the, the with the tester. So what we'll have to be using is this yellow cable right here. Alright, and this USB connects onto the device. So let's get to that. Connect the USB, the USB 3 port right down here. So you connect it to here. And then you connect this one, the video, to here, and then you connect the power right here. Alright, now once that is connected, then you go into this part that says camera. Okay. And there you go, immediately it comes up. So let me just move this around a bit and show you what I mean. So I don't know how clear the image will come on the screen. But this camera needs to be focused. It's out of focus, but it works. That's the general idea. Instead of working, I'll have to take it apart. These have, this camera has uh, security screws on it. So you can see. I don't know if it'll focus. Focus. Let me see if it focus on that there a little bit. There you go. You see it has security screws, so I'll have to use a security bit to take that out. And focus the camera that is in there. I don't know if you can see it. Alright, but for now, uh, let's look at the light. See, you can see the light on top. That's moving around, so that's the camera. So it will do analog. No, oh, cut off. Oh, my cut off. Alright, yeah, there. There's a thing with the cable. Alright, yeah, so you can do analog and it can do IP. So what I'll do now, I'll go get a HD camera. Wow, what happened there? Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, this camera is really old. It was pulled from a demo. <laughs> so I just have this stuff here just packing up. Um, I need to start to give away this stuff. Um, I'll toss it out, whichever one. But I like to keep it around for testing purposes. You know, it, it, it just it, it does what it's supposed to. It functions. So I use it for testing. Um, right, so I'll go get a, a HD camera and see if we can actually hook up. See if it works this time, because I've tried it in the field and it disappointed me sorely. Where I had to do a whole work around. I think I did that in a video. I might put a link to the video where I actually did that with the EasyVid setup. And you can go check it out and see what I had to do just to work around to get that to work when this failed me. But other than that, it worked pretty well when I was installing the IP cameras. Um, you can see that video as well. I could put a link to that video in the description. So you could check those out. And you know you can see how it was used to install. Actually, you wouldn't see how it was used to install those cameras, but you could see those cameras and the, the the finished product, and how this was used to help you know set those in place, get the views right, and all of that. So alright, let me go get the, uh, the the HD camera real quick. All right, so we have a AHD camera here. Uh, it's a sans. I did a video on this. I think uh, the video might come out after this video. And the video I did on this was a, a slight unboxing and review, shortly, short type. And I would also use this IP camera just to add it to the system, just to you know see see how you know sans does their thing. And yeah, so I'm gonna try this one and see if it works. All right. So I'll also put links to the, all these videos that I'm talking about. You can check them out. I'll put links to them. So uh, let's see if this will actually work. I tested it in the field and it, it, it didn't work with uh, AHD cameras. But let's just see if it works with this one. Maybe it was the cameras I was using. Well, probably. We'll see. 
Right. So we have it plugged in. Let's go back up. Mm. Nothing so far. Yeah. Same thing. Same issue I was having. It was it's I guess it's just not made for it, you know. All right. I don't know why they call it the HD7 when it does not test HD cameras, but maybe, who knows, maybe. Maybe I'm not using the right camera with it, which which pretty much sucks, because now I have to get another um, another camera, basically. Let's see if it's even getting power. So you see there's this IR coming on, so it gets, it, it's, it's receiving power. It's not like if it's not receiving power. It's just that it cannot transmit an image, because I believe that the, the analog high definition signal is different to the analog system um, signal so that's why you're not going to get an image from an analog uh, basically decoder I don't know if there's a decoder in this but it just cannot decode the analog HD system into an analog system unless it was made uh, compatible unless you have one of those testers so I'm gonna get a I'm looking to get one of those um, five-in-one testers from LTS I know there's other people who have them but uh, LTS has them reasonably priced and that's not a plug for LTS it's just saying that they have it reasonably priced I I do shop around I do look for good deals and uh, nobody wants to overpay for something you know because you can go directly to LTS and get it and then you could go outside of LTS get the same thing and pay over two hundred dollars more so just think about that so if you know somebody at LTS give them a call get their products directly from them you go to a retailer you're gonna pay more remember they have to they have to make money too so the choice is basically yours so yeah that, that's what the, that was the test for the the IPC HD 7 tester and this is Damien again from Fixfin PC thank you for viewing and you can subscribe